The Raven's Nest by John Clare Read for LibriVox.org by David Barnes Upon the collar of a huge old oak, Year after year boys mark a curious nest Of twigs made up a faggot near in size, And boys to reach it try all sorts of schemes, But not a twig to reach with hand or foot Sprouts from the pillared trunk, And as to try to swarm the massy bulk Tis all in vain, they scarce one effort make To hitch them up, but down they slother soon as e'er they try. So long hath been their dwelling there, Old men when passing by will laugh and tell the ways they had When boys to climb that very tree, And as it so would seem, that very nest That ne'er was missing from that self-same spot, A single year in all their memories, And they will say that the two birds Are now the very birds that owned the dwelling then, some think it strange, yet certain tis at loss, And cannot contradict it, so they pass, As old birds living the woods patriarchs, Old as the oldest men so famed and known, That even men will thirst into the fame Of boys at get-at schemes, That now and then may captivate a young one from the tree, With iron clawms and bands, Adventuring up the mealy trunk, or else by wagon-ropes slung over the huge grains, And so drawn up by those at bottom, One ascends secure, with foot-rope stirruped. Still a perilous way, so perilous that one and only one, In memories of the oldest men, was known to wear his boldness to intention's end, And reach the raven's nest, and thence achieved a theme that wonder treasured for surprise by every cottage hearth the village through, nor yet forgot, though other darers come with daring times that scale the steeple's top and tie their kerchiefs to the weathercock as trophies that the dangerous deed was done. Yet even now, in these adventurous days, not one is bold enough to dare the way up the old monstrous oak, where every spring finds the two ancient birds at their old task, repairing the huge nest, where still they live through changes, winds, and storms, and are secure, and like a landmark in the chronicles of village memories, treasured up, yet lives the huge old oak that wears the raven's nest. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.